Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be a fun cut crease halo eye look using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So if you want to see how I get this look, go ahead and watch my video. Okay, so to prime the lids today, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. For the palette today, we're going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm going to take this very rounded um, Morphe brush and I'm going to go into this pearly shade right here. I'm going to highlight the brow bone. I'm going to take this very fluffy Morphe M441. I'm going to go into this light brown shade right here. I'm going to lightly put that into the crease. Next, I'm going to go into this yellow shade right here, the same M441. We're going to put it directly in the crease. Next, I'm going to go into this peachy yellow brown shade right here. I'm going to lightly go into the crease a little bit under where the yellow shade is. Next, using the M441, I'm going to go in with this orange-red shade right here. We're going to apply it on the crease. We're going to try to keep it in this area right under the crease. Next, using an M433, just a smaller compact crease brush, I'm going to go in with this deeper red shade right here. I'm going to put that on the outer corner and under the crease. I'm going to take a clean A Cosmetics all over shadow brush and I'm going to go back into the yellow shade. We're going to go over everything. All right, next we're going to cut the crease. We're going to take Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. And we're going to take a Urban Decay Naked 2 Palette Brush. We're just going to cut our crease out. We're going to go in with this It Cosmetics Angled Liner Brush and just dip it back into the deep red shade that we used earlier. And we're going to put it right where the crease line ends just to deepen up that crease. Next, using the same fluffy rounded brush from earlier, we're going to go back into the pearly white shade that we used to highlight our brow bone. We're just going to put it all over the concealer. I like to pat it just so the product doesn't move. Next, we're going to take this Anastasia brush. Um, it came with one of the palettes, so it has a rounded brush and a crease brush on it. I'm going to use the rounded side, and I'm going to go in with this peel. Now I'm going to take a clean Anastasia brush. It's the same type of brush, and I'm going to go in with this dark green, almost black shade right here. I'm going to do the outer corner. My eye's watering a little bit. Um, don't judge the shadow off of that. I'm also going to do the inner corner. Next, I'm going to go in with this white shade, both of these white shades, and a little bit of this shimmer um, periwinkle color. And I'm going to go right over to the little line at the top. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Metals palette. We're going to go into this bright goldish blue and do the corners right next to the teal. I'm going to go back in with the same Anastasia brush I used for the teal. And I'm going to go in with this shimmer blue right here. I'm just going to pack it over the teal. Alright, next we're going to go in with eyeliner. We're going to go into the Smashbox Always On Liquid Eyeliner. It's my favorite eyeliner at this point. Um, nice formula. It's really pointed. I love it. For lashes today, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Ardell Foam Mink 810 Lashes. While the lash glue dries, we're going to go ahead and get started with the face. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this little headband on just because um, I have hairspray and gel around the top of my forehead. So I just want them, I want it to stay there. I don't want it to get all messed up. 
All right, so for primer today, we're gonna start off with the Pacha Silk Canvas Primer. And because I have all this blue under my eye, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid. It's in Deep Peach. And this is just to get rid of the like blue purple hues under my eye. I'm gonna use a tiny blender to blend it out. Next, it's gonna be time for foundation. We're gonna go into the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, hydrating foundation in the shade Fair Light Neutral. Um, I used the hydrating just because I feel like the matte was too matte for me. It came off looking cakey. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm not trying to look cakey. I'm going to take this damp Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend out the foundation. Next, I'm going to go with the contour stick from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Mink. We're going to go in with um, concealer. It's going to be the same shape tape that we used earlier. Just to make sure our eye, our under eyes don't start creasing, we're going with the Pixi Flawless Finishing Powder in Translucent. Um, I don't know how this is translucent. It has like a pink hue to it. I'm not complaining though. I mean, I love this stuff. No flashback and it does what it's supposed to, so I'm not mad. And this is a little bullet brush from Morphe. For bronzer today, we're gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. It's in the shade Fantastic. And this is just like the best little packaging I've ever seen. Um, a huge mirror, huge pan, a little lock to unlock and lock the palette. I, I really enjoy it. Um, I got the suggestion from Beauty Gurus. Um, it's not the like white one, but I'll be fine. So I'm gonna take this angled Morphe brush and just dip it in. I'm gonna take this oval brush from Morphe. I don't really know what kind of brush this is. I should look that up for you guys. And I'm gonna contour the nose. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the face. We're gonna use the Too Faced Ethereal um, Setting Power on um, the Born This Way collection. We're gonna sit it and forget it. And we're gonna go ahead and start doing the lower lash line. We're going to take this IT Cosmetics really fluffy crease brush. We're going to go into the yellow shade. Next, going in with the Morphe M433, we're going to go into the orange red shade right here. Next, we're going to take this Urban Decay Smoky Palette brush. We're going to use the buffer um, smudger side of it. We're going to go into the deep red shade from earlier, and we're going to do the waterline. For mascara today, we're going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Using a fluffy It Cosmetics um, Chic Powder Brush. I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the bake. For blush today, we're going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Blush and shade Je ne sais quoi. And I'm going to be using this angled It Cosmetics blush brush. For highlighter today, we're going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Omrezy highlighter. Still such a gorgeous freaking highlighter. Using 
this rounded Morphe brush, I'm going to go into the highlighter. I'm going to do the tip of my nose. I'm going to do my bridge, but only a little part of it. This is what helps me get the more snatched effect. I'm going to go to my inner corners. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone. We go back in with the Morphe rounded brush and I'm going to do my Cupid's bow. For lips today, I'm going to go in with the MAC Cosmetics Mangrove Matte Lipstick. It was part of the um, little snowball edition set. For setting spray today, we're going to go in with the MAC Cosmetics MAC Fix Plus. All right, everybody, this is the final look for today. I'm really, really enjoying it. If you enjoy it as well, comment down below and let me know how you feel about the look or what other looks you would like to see in the future. And if you like my channel and you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.